Hello everyone, my name is British Vlogger 7 and welcome to a Q&A. This is a special location I chose for the Q&A today. I hope you all like it, I like it. This is actually in our accommodation ground, so uh, real, we're really pleased with this. I've got some questions, of like screenshots, the questions on my laptop from the Q&A soon video I put up the other day. Sorry if I missed your question out, you probably just put it too late because I haven't got Wi-Fi here, uh, that's why I had to travel all the way up to Hollyhead to get to an internet cafe to upload uh, the YouTube video all the, all the day, the setup tour YouTube video. So hopefully you will enjoy this Q&A, uh, let's get straight into the question shall we? Uh, also, just a quick disclaimer, I'm also going to put in some of these questions often, some older Q&As that I forgot to answer, or say if I had said, did a Q&A soon video, and then uploaded the Q&A after a couple of days. Some people left uh, some questions in the Q&A video that I actually did, so th these some questions are going to be for that as well. Just a quick disclaimer so you know. So the first question is by the King of Bronies, and the King of Bronies says, what is your favourite cartoon slash anime show? Now, I don't watch TV that much, but when I did watch TV ages and ages ago, uh, as a kid I used to watch Spongebob. Uh, pretty uh, immature, I know, for me to watch, but I used to love Spongebob. Um, it was one of my favourite shows. Let me know in the comments what your favourite show was. The second question is Joel Wright, and he also made a statement as well. Um, he says, who inspired you to start YouTube? By the way, you're my favourite YouTuber. Keep vlogging. Thank you, Joel. Um, I think my main inspiration on this channel is a YouTuber called Mars Bar. Uh, he has three channels, believe it or not. He's got a, a tech channel, um, his main channel, which has like all, most of the subscribers on it, and his vloggy chan vlogging channel, which he does daily vlogs on there. I watch his daily vlogs. If you watch his daily vlogs, just let me know uh, as well, so we can relate. Uh, but yeah, he's a, a good vlogger, and he always stays positive, which is awesome, and he's got. He's pretty inspiring as well, his vlogs are, so if, if you're interested in vlogging, go check him out, because he's, he's cool. The third question is by Brian Galley, and Brian Galley says, Would you say you're happy with where you are now with you, your YouTube equipment, and when do you think it, it's the necessary time to upgrade your vlogging equipment? Thank you for the question. That was a, This is a good question now. I can give an interesting answer. See, this is these are the questions I like. And he says, um, yeah, uh, I am happy so far, kind of, with my YouTube equipment. If it's uh, if it has stopped breaking this camera, because uh, this the tripod bracket is broke again on this camera, which is really annoying. So um, I need to. I, um, it just needs gluing on, but it keeps breaking, which is really annoying. Uh, I am going to get some super glue and just glue it back on again, but it'll probably just keep coming off and keep trying to annoy me, uh, which is obviously really annoying. Go away, wasp. Where's it gone? I hate wasp. Whoa, go away, wasp. And when I think it's the necessary time to upgrade uh, your equipment, if you think you're not happy with it or you. Wasp, uh, if you think you're not happy with it or you think, say if it breaks and it's unfixable and you know it's unfixable, you can't fix it yourself or you, or you, the repair shop can't fix it or you think the quality isn't very good on it That's and people are asking uh, you in the comments, uh, this quality is bad on this camera. Uh, and so on, maybe you should get a new camera. Uh, so that's like the time, those signs, those are the signs for when you should think you should upgrade. The fourth question is by Brian Gully again, and he says, What tips can you give for a vlogger just starting out? 
equipment, how to pre present and so on. So the equipment is, uh, I would recommend now, not my camera, because there's a lot better cameras out now than I have, because I've had this three to four years now, this camera. I recommend the Canon G7X, that is insane quality. The focus is a little bit slow, I've seen on most YouTube videos, but it picks up like any camera. And it looks insane quality, it's got a flip screen and it's a pocket camera, it's nice and compact, it's about the size of your hand and you can do it. Also if you you see all these YouTubers grill up pods, don't go for one. Go for a, a selfie stick that can support your camera. Uh, so for example, a really strong one. I got my selfie stick from uh, the pound shop. Not very like civil what's the word I'm after I don't know but it's not something a normal uh, vlogger would do they would have they would probably spend about 15 to 30 quid on like a proper strong selfie stick and also if it has if it hasn't got a proper tripod head on it get like a, a uh, a proper tripod head those aren't too expensive and they're probably about a five to ten pounds something like that and your tripod, well you can just get cheap tripods off Amazon uh, this one is a cheap tripod, it cost me 10 quid off uh, Amazon so not, not too expensive equipment, all do the job of course the fifth question is from one of my older Q&A's uh, that I just forgot, uh, off Q&A 3 so if you want to have a look for the proof that this is there and it's not fake or anything. Uh, just look on my Q&A and you'll find this guy. Um, and this guy is named Tom Mercer and he says, This dude is so grateful for his subscribers, he's got his own style. You, something you rarely see nowadays. nowadays. Oh, I can't speak about that. Keep up the work man and you will grow so much more. Thank you Tom Mercer, I appreciate your support. Yeah. We need more people like these. If you feel like you need to let me know this, just let me know. I will buy you. A lot of people actually like YouTubers. They don't actually put it in the comments. When you put that you like a YouTuber in their comments, it, it makes a difference to them and a lot of other people as well. So if you like a YouTuber, make sure you let them know. They might not see it, but other people who are looking through the comments will see it and they, they'll, you might even get a reply to your comment saying yeah I agree I've seen that in the YouTube comments so if you like a YouTuber let them know here's one from my older Q&A's as well by vlogging it he actually has a channel he shouted me out so I'm gonna sort of shout him out as well he shouted me out a while back actually so I'm a bit late for the party sorry there but uh, he's awesome go look, look him out he does vlogs I don't know if he does them daily or not, I haven't kept track 100% uh, yet. Uh, but he does do a lot of exciting vlogs, so... He says, Oh, and here's a question, what was the most... What video was most fun making? The, um, the one where I went to Peak District, yes. I, put, I really enjoyed putting uh, into the shots there and editing it. I really enjoyed editing, I don't really... You, usually enjoy editing a video but on this on the uh, Peak District vlog I really enjoyed editing that because uh, everything went together how I wanted it and I didn't have too many complications and mistakes editing it um, hopefully no mistakes at all really so yeah uh, the Peak District vlog was my favourite The Wildster Gaming says on my older Q&A uh, he says do you play PS4? No, I do not, but if I probably will never play PS4. Because who needs a PS4 when you've got a gaming computer that can handle almost anything? No, I'm joking. It's only got an R7 370 graphics card in it. Uh, so it's not too powerful, my, com my uh, gaming computer. But as long as it can run games in 60 FPS, I don't care. And also there's not very many exclusives for the PS4, there is a couple, I know that there is some, but there isn't many, so there's no point just upgrading to the PS4 just for them three, three or four exclusives that are out. May as well just get the ones that I want on Steam. And the final question by Vlogging Geek again. 
he says, what camera do you use? I use the HDR CX330E uh, by Sony. It's a video camera like a stereotypical video camera, open flip screen, you can flip it like that. Um, it's, it would be better if I could monitor the audio. Oh, go away wasp, please, just leave me alone. It'd be better if I could just monitor the audio with so with a headphone jack or I could put an external microphone on it on the top of it like that uh, I don't know why I'm pointing to my head because it's just on the top so I can but it has got a nice and wide angle lens it is uh, slowly just breaking in itself and not working as we progress sometimes the focus will work sometimes the steady shot will work and sometimes it won't uh, it's just a bit unpredictable my camera is so don't go for my camera because it cost me 400 pounds I, I think it's a lot cheaper on Amazon now I think it's not for like 100 pounds but I still wouldn't recommend it till the day I die because unless you get like a new version of the Sony Handycam series because that's what it is a Handycam uh, but the model number is HDR CX330 so if you google that it'll come up with everything that you need to know about it but if you look at one of the newer hang handycams, I'm sure they're a little bit more expensive, but they're more of an upgraded version of this camera that won't break as much and uh, just destroy itself inside and, you know, and so on. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Q&A. Uh, that was the last question I said that in uh, I hope you liked the location I chose for this Q&A. Uh, we're going to go out... Uh, today I think it's like 10 or 11 o'clock or something like that so I'll see you all in my next video uh, or my next vlog even whatever you want however you want to put it um, there will be more vlogs on this uh, angles you hold day and I'll see you all in my next video uh, bye and also don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed bye